Hello, beautiful Scorpio, and welcome to your mid-month October reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura, and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader, as well as a group worker. Please keep in mind, Scorpios, this is a general collective reading, so not all messages will resonate for every single Scorpio out there. If for some reason these messages don't resonate or you just want additional clarification on anything you're experiencing at this point in time, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one reading with me through my website, which is below in the description box. So with all that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. We're going to start off with the tea leaf fortune cards to see what kind of energies or situations may be coming up for you for the rest of October. So let's take a look. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios for the rest of October? All right. Let's take a look at these two. So we have the angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Okay. Got some angels on your side. What else? We have the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Uh-oh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just jump right into clarifying these for you. We have the Sugar Skull Tarot for the rest of the month. I'm going to go ahead and clarify each of these cards using this deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpio surrounding this angel? What messages do you have for my Scorpio surrounding this angel? Take a look. We have the Hermit card reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands reversed. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. All right, so with the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck, we have Leo energy, Five of Swords reversed, we have Aquarius, Two of Pentacles is Capricorn, and the Hermit is Virgo. All right, Scorpios, I'm getting the feeling that someone is kind of walking under the radar at this point in time. It's like someone put Harry Potter's invisible cloak on you, and you're just walking through a whole lot of chaos. With the Six of Wands reversed, it feels like there is a lot of things around you that are, or someone around you is not doing very well, they're very chaotic, they're taking things out on other people, or there are a lot of situations happening to people around you, and it's like you're just kind of like dodging it left and right, left and right. You're getting away from um, some of the harsher energy of whatever it is that's happening around you. Again, I don't know if this is a particular person or if it's just a bunch of things happening all kind of at the same time. But with the Hermit card in reverse, it feels like you guys have been kind of hiding out a little bit and now you're starting to reemerge and show your face to the world, whether that's in like family settings, friendship settings, work settings, whatever it is, it feels like spirit is kind of allowing you to not get caught up in petty drama and like not having to continuously juggle like big big issues all the time if that makes sense it's like when you think something's about to be a problem like it kind of resolves itself kind of a thing it's very interesting if that happens to you let me know because i f i feel like <laughs> that's going to be coming up a lot for you over the last couple of weeks of october it's like once you start to think you have an issue, all of a sudden it's it's not an issue and you're like, oh, okay, well, that saves me a lot of time and energy um, and getting worked up in my mind about <laughs> what I'm going to do about this. So that definitely feels like an angel is kind of helping remove obstacles from your path so that you don't have to juggle too much. I feel like spirit really wants you to kind of focus on something in particular. What it is, though, I don't know if it's spirituality some of you guys may be going through a spiritual awakening right now or maybe resolving some hidden trauma shadow work i know that came up in the last couple of videos for you so some of you guys still may be resolving some of that shadow work and that pain and that trauma and spirits like they really want you to focus on healing and re-strengthening yourself basically so anything that comes up i feel like for you guys for the next couple of weeks it's just gonna just fall away it's just like parting of the red sea here comes Scorpio, just give her a break, <laughs> or him a break, <laughs> which is really, really nice. I feel like you guys have been going through a lot um, spiritually and emotionally the last few weeks, so 
This should definitely kind of help ease some of that tension within yourself and without yourself out in our physical world. So really, really nice to see that you guys are protected and guided at this time. Let's go ahead and move on to the Numinous Astro deck and see where this could be happening for you, astrologically speaking. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Scorpio surrounding this angel? Let's take a look. We have the eighth house, the eighth house of intimacy. Okay, this is the house of investments, intensity, contracts, sex, erotic capital, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, uh, kundalini energy, stalking, and the underworld. Yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are going through like a rebirth cycle at this time. The eighth house is ruled by Scorpio or heavily associated with Scorpio energy. So it does feel like you guys are going through a rebirth, kind of refinding yourself, reconnecting, um, coming out of the underworld in a matter of speaking. It's like you guys have gone into that shadow work into some really dark places and you're starting to come out of it, starting to reemerge, starting to, you know, come back into the light, Scorpios, and really starting to, again, find yourselves um, embracing your sexuality, your sensuality, the beauty of who you are, and it's just, Spirit is really wanting for you at this time to just kind of have like an easy transition back into being either social or, you know, exposing yourself and who you are at this time. We also have Jupiter at the bottom of the deck, which is the planet of expansion, enthusiasm, optimism, generosity, benevolence, beliefs, luck, seeking, travel, positivity, lectures, foreign cultures, teaching, pilgrimage, chance, expansion, leaping, exploration, and potential. Definitely one of the luckiest planets in the solar system. So Jupiter is here. Maybe you have Jupiter in the eighth house and things are just really starting to blossom there for you. Take a look at where Jupiter sits in your chart, what house it is in, and what sign it's under. Um, same with the eighth house. See what sign is in the eighth house for you guys to kind of get a little bit more um, insight on how this is affecting you personally. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Moonology Oracle deck and get some final advice or messages. Spirit, any final messages or advice for my Scorpios regarding this angel? Let's take a look. Whoop. Just flew out there. Come here. Okay, we have New Moon and Gemini. Communication is key. All right, very interesting. For a lot of you guys, you may be, again, with the Hermit card here, um, Virgo and Gemini being ruled by Mercury at this time, keeping open communication with others around you, letting them know how you're feeling, what you're thinking, um, being very clear if you are not in a space to do something or be somewhere and um, give your energy to certain spaces or people is very, very key at this time. Just make sure you're very open and honest with people and just be like, hey, you know, I'm not really in the space for that right now. And that will actually help kind of keep you out of some of the drama as well, I feel. Um, just letting people know where you're at will be really, really helpful and beneficial for you guys. We also have the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Interesting, okay. For some of you guys, you may have been putting a lot of energy into something as well at this point in time, whether that's career, um, mental health, spiritual things, love, whatever it is. Um, and I feel like spirit is also kind of guiding you through that as well. That's probably why you went into hermit mode. You're trying to s sort out what it is that you're thinking, feeling, what direction you want to go in. And... Um, now that you're coming out of that, it's spirit wants you to really make sure that this is something you want. Even though you're protected and guided, there's definitely going to be a lot of moments where you will have to have some either difficult or um, not so comfortable communication and conversations with people that could come up as well. Um, but I think spirit is really saying like, if you want this, you got to be able to voice that you want this or what you want out of this um, but it feels like again it's not going to be conversations that will really end in a negative way because it feels like spirit just wants you to get comfortable with opening up and being um, invested 
invested in whatever it is that you are going after at this time. All right, Scorpio, so that is what I'm seeing for you. I'm going to go ahead and clear the table and move on to the next card, which is this feather. All right. Okay, Spirit, let's go ahead and shuffle this deck up a little bit. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding this feather? Okay, we got one that flipped over. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles reversed, the Star card, and the Chariot card reversed, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. So the Feather card is about someone you know is undependable and insincere. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. A lot of crows hanging out today, adding to the spooky season vibes. I'm here for it. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, we have Jupiter Energy, which is tied to Sagittarius. We have uh, Cancer here with the Chariot card, Aquarius with the Star, and then Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the King of Pentacles reversed. All right, Scorpio, so this is what I'm seeing here. This person, whoever this may be for you, I am not getting anybody in particular. So take what resonates, but it definitely feels like this person is not invested in you at this time with the Wheel of Fortune card. And talk about undependable, we have the Chariot in reverse. This is like an undependable car, really. Like this person has no intention of really exerting any effort in moving forward or doing anything to, um, like I said, invest in you at this time. I don't know if this is a friend, if this is a relationship, or if this is someone else maybe related to business matters okay this could be a mentor this could be a boss of some kind um, a co-worker it could also be what else was i thinking um someone who wants to help like loan you money is what i heard with this king of pentacles in reverse this person is just kind of really all about themselves i feel like like they're they're not interested in anything else other than themselves. They just want to help themselves, boost themselves. So I feel like if you were to bring them something that would also somehow benefit them in some way, they would probably go for it. But if it was only something to help you out or, you know, boost you up and you just ask them for help, it, it doesn't feel like they would really bother. They may say yes and then all of a sudden change their mind at one point right before you really really need them let's go ahead and take a look at the numinous astro deck and see where this could be happening for you astrologically speaking spirit what messages do you have for my scorpios regarding this feather we have uranus that's very much aquarius energy so uranus is the planet of revolution breakthroughs brainstorming originality insight awakening technology innovation humanitarianism reform surprise freedom experimentation, the unexpected, edge, diversity, and lightning. Very interesting. It could be a really unexpected way in which you kind of figure or come to realize what this person is about. Um, or it could just really shock you when they kind of show their true colors. It's kind of, uh, kind of stinks. I'm not going to lie to you guys, Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we also have the moon, which is the planet. <clears throat> I know it's not a planet, it's a moon. But it's the planet of your feelings, your instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, self-soothing, moods, and mothers. So the moon is ruled by cancer, so this very well could have to do with a cancer or an Aquarius. It could also be an earth sign, could also be a Sagittarius. Just take what resonates. I highly looking at where Uranus and the moon falls into your chart, what planets, um, what planets, which signs these planets are under and which houses they fall under as well. That could kind of show you a little bit more about what's happening here for you. Let's go ahead and look at the Moonology Oracle and see what final advice or messages Spirit has for you regarding this feather. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding this feather? Let's take a look. Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. 
This may be someone you may have to keep tabs on just to make sure that they're actually doing what they're saying or following through on what they're saying. But um, also how this person communicates could be very telling on, you know, who they really are. So definitely pay attention if you have somebody in mind, pay attention to how they communicate um, or choose not to communicate as well. That could be a big sign as to, you know, what is actually going on behind the scenes here. We actually have the full moon at the bottom of the deck, surrender to the divine. This may be coming up for you around the full moon in Aries later on in the month. So keep an eye out for that kind of energy around that time. All right, Scorpios, that's what I'm seeing for you guys for the rest of the month. Please leave a like and a comment if this resonated for you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do monthly and mid-monthly readings as well as occasional pick a cards. If you would also like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. And if you want to follow me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, you can follow me and find me again through uh, my info below in the description box. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your October and I hope to see you next time. Bye!